We have here a smoke box, or a convection box. On one side, we have a candle lit. You can feel above here the heat energy coming out. You can feel that heat energy through convection. The hot, less dense gas is rising and going up. You can also feel a little bit through radiation, but primarily convection. On the other side, we have a little chimney going down. Now, we have some incense here. Incense is just a thing that smokes there, it makes a nice uh, pleasant smell in the room, but as you can see, it's, uh, it's emitting a little bit of smoke there. And take a look how that smoke is behaving, it's going kind of straight up there. So now let's observe what happens when we place that uh, incense above this other chimney here. Let's see. Now, if you can see, some of that smoke is starting to go down. There's still some rising, but it's still going down. Now let's, let's take a look again here. None of it's going down. It's all going up. Let's observe over this chimney. We have some of that smoke now traveling down that chimney. So the question is why? Why is this smoke kind of going down here? Some people will often say it's gravity. Well gravity's pulling it down. Well if, if it was then it would also be going down before. But remember we could feel a little bit of radiation, but primarily convection coming out of here, so that the particles got excited because of that candle, the, they separated, they hit each other harder, pushed further apart, became less dense. In convection we ha is when we have less dense gas or liquid rising, but they just can't rise infinitely and forever. <coughs> It needs the colder and more dense gases to come in to replace it. So as it's expelling out, it creates a little bit of a vacuum to pull it in. So there is a cold air current going down this chimney here. Now we can't see it and it's so gentle that we can't feel it, but that smoke was able to ride that down. So we were able to feel and see convection using this smoke box or convection box.